Action! Try to be quiet on the set out there, you guys. Action! Okay, guys, I think this might be Tecundra 27. Okay, so front drive shaft. This is 32 inches long. This is the factory Tundra drive shaft. I need to add six inches to it. I actually cut this off of the rear drive shaft. Same exact flanges. To figure out how long this is gonna be, I'm gonna line these up exactly. And I need to add six inches. That means from this point, we need to cut this six inches longer, which is right about here. Okay, so we're gonna cut this one here, and we're gonna weld that onto there. And I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, it's not gonna be straight. It's gonna look like a banana going down the road like this. And it's gonna make all kinds of vibrations and stuff. The newfangled things you're building these days, you can kids. But it's not gonna be like that. I'm gonna show you how to make it straight and it should be pretty balanced, even though it won't be technically balanced. It, it'll be pretty good. And besides, this is just for the front drive shaft, you guys. Don't sweat it, it's just the front. But I've done this before on rear drive shafts too. So let's get started. Lengthening the drive shaft. Same thing if you want to shorten it, by the way. Observe. We're gonna cut this off right now. See where I got my line drawn there? I'm gonna actually slide this over just a little bit because I want to add six inches, but we're gonna leave a little gap here. So cut about a quarter inch short. Now for the record, if I didn't have this extra piece, I would have cut that right in the middle. So if anyone's gonna try this yourself, you wanna cut right in the middle, really. When I put this together, I'm only gonna to have to weld once. If I didn't have this, we'd have to stretch this out to this point, and I'd have to fill that, and then we'd have to weld it twice. So that's the only reason I'm doing it this way, because I had an extra piece. Okay, you guys? This is something that comes in handy. An extra piece of drive shaft tubing that just happens to be the same exact size. This is all three inch tubing. Just happens to be the same exact size. What do you need that for? Well, I'm about to show you. All right, calm down, damn. What we're gonna do is make a sleeve that'll slide inside this. I know what you're thinking. It's not gonna fit. We're gonna cover that. God, you guys, chill. Okay, I think about, um, you know, probably about a foot would be good. I wonder what, yep, okay. Anything in there? You know what's always in there? Bear, tell them what's always in there. A cardboard. And Ogre's here, you guys. Ogre, ladies and gentlemen. What Ogre, up? can you tell us why there is always cardboard inside these drive shafts? See, I would assume it's probably for a dampening of some sort, for like vibration dampening. Right, I need to cut you off. <laughs> vibration <laughs> dampening, correct? <laughs> or like sound? I don't know, but look at this. Look, how weird is that? Okay, Ogre. You want to see what's in the other ones? Like, this was in the last one. Like that little guy right there. Weird. Which, by the way, you guys, look at this. See how that's cut? See what happens when you slide that in there? You squeeze it together, and it slides in nice and tight. That's what we're gonna do with this piece of tubing. All right, so, shameless plug. So basically though, we need a piece to slide inside that's gonna make sure these are both straight. I'm gonna say about 12 inches, maybe. Now let me measure that, you guys. Let me just set that up there. Yep, about 12. Jesus Christ, you can't go anywhere with me. Okay, so uh, no, we really can't. Let's give about 12 inches here. <laughs> That's what you're... Bear, have you ever given anyone a 12 inches? Yeah, what'd you do four times? <laughs> We're gonna have to get all this crap. You want to get in close on that? We gotta get all this crap taken off here. Not so close that it gets blurry though, because that GoPro kind of sucks up close. Okay, so we're gonna get all this crap off of here, you guys. You're gonna want your safety glasses for this part, you know? Inside and outside, we gotta get all that crap. We gotta do the same with these, you guys. Very important, especially on that inside edge. By the way, you guys, not really trying to take any material off of there, just that extra stuff. What's it called? Deburring. We're it's just really deburring cool. that. You don't want to bevel that edge or anything, we're just deburring. Now, we'll just weld them together. Does that look straight, you guys? Sure. Pretty straight? I'm just kidding, you guys. Now, can you no. mark where they need to go because of how it's weighted and balanced? He's going to take care of it. This didn't even, this got cut off of a different shaft anyway, oh. so it doesn't really matter. But I'm getting to that point, I'm getting there. God, 
Everyone always doubting me. That we'll get this. You, you know how many times you're like, oh man, I wish Using I was the, the proper tool. tool. We oh, all no, live I know, in hindsight. I'm joking. I'm we joking. all live in hindsight. No, I don't mind anyone saying shit like that. Yeah, yeah, because you know how, like, because I might just forget. Someone put my I might like, know damn well that these have to line up, but forget I'm welding it together and someone be like, yo, Swartz, you gonna line them up? I'll be like, well, yeah, duh. All right, guys, so now, much like this cardboard tube, it slides in here. Ooh. We gotta cut this same type of slice out of this so we can squeeze a little bit and fit it inside there. That's gonna ensure that these are lined up perfectly. Mike has done this before, so. Mm -hmm. I have, and it worked good. It, it did, works, yeah. Worked. I just wanted to vouch it. This is not is that, is that, was it the 96 right now? The 96 Tacoma. Because you, you guys took, have seen it, AKA what? Tacoma Apocalypse. Click this this to is done. To this is to done to it. Click to it. Show, cut, show, cut show, to the the show the 96 Tacoma. <laughs> Jump in the hill. So we're gonna fire this here truck up if it starts. <laughs> he ripped it! I don't know what's wrong with it. I mean, I never beat that? on it. You served in Vietnam, Iraq, and the Revolutionary War. Oh, Dad, no! He broke it. Oh. That was sick, oh, wasn't it? This, 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 this. Dude, I remember that day like it was two days ago. Anyway, so we're gonna cut a nice little slice right through here, and I'm just gonna use this little gay. Okay, okay, oh, that's cute. Okay, let's just uh, yeah, I might even use this here vice. To, I just got it's nice, nice vice. Okay, stick that right there. Now I'm not gonna clamp this tight, of course, because if I clamp that tight, it wouldn't work. Um, but, you know, we just need to make a little cut, safety first. Got a little crooked there, but that is not going to affect a thing. This doesn't have to be exact. That's not going to be enough, though, just so you guys know. Um, as a matter of fact, we're going to take a good bit more off. Um, you know, I don't even know how much I should tell you. Probably about a half inch. little sliver now just like with the ends we also want to get rid of all this crap and to do that now to get inside there see that inside there how are we gonna get the grinder in there how are we gonna get in there to grind that I don't know let me show you guys a little trick okay we're gonna take this hot grinder I think I should probably use the flapper disc though. Well, if that gap was smaller, I'd use that, but it's, uh, it's wider. It's wide enough. That's those beautiful lights we have. By the way, I, I love your lighting setup. It's pretty fucking sweet. Okay, okay so we're just gonna. So, let me do that again so I don't have to embarrass myself. So, you're probably wondering how are we gonna grind that stuff off in there? Like, how are we gonna get the grinder in there? Like, well, well it's going to grind we? through like this. Watch this. Right? Okay. Now, one other thing I'm going to have to do, because my extra little piece of drive shaft here has been painted in the past, although there's not much left, but I'm going to rip the paint off the center of this. Okay, clock on set and action! I'm gonna put this in the vise to squeeze this down just a little bit, okay? Here, film from this end there. See how that is right there? Okay, now I'm on the shot too, okay? All right, now watch. What I'm gonna do is just close this gap up like so. 
Now this is going to ovalize this a little bit, but that's okay. It will come back to shape when I take it out of the vise. And for now, nothing really matters a lot as long as we get this started. And hammer, hammer time. This on pretty far. I don't have to get the whole way on. We got to get her slid in there a little further. You know, 12 inches, it didn't even have to be that long. But I'm going to stomp this down in. Watch me use this workbench. Wow. I think we're there. Okay, we're there. So now clamp this side. Just got to draw it in enough that we can get it started. Now this is where we actually do have to take our time and line this up. These ears right here have to match those ears right there. So this can only go on two ways. It's either got to go like this or like this. And we got to make sure they're lined up as perfectly as possible. So when you're putting this one on, you want to sight it like this. Bear, you see how I'm doing that bear? See how I'm sighting that? I'm at least getting it pretty close right now. That should hold it pretty snug. Now, we can lay this down since I have this sweet workbench. And it's straight. I can lay this down and make sure they're both laying flat. Anything you can do to make sure those things are lined up, it's important that they are lined up. So get down, take a sniff. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. Now we gotta push this side in some more. You don't wanna close that gap the whole way up though. You want to leave room to weld this all together. You want to weld both sides and that tube all together. I should have grinded more off, but then I wouldn't have to be so careful. Or you could tack that end and then... Thank you, Bear. Tack this end Thank right you. here Let's and then that. smack That's it upside down. That's what we keep them around for you guys. Once Thank a you, year, once a year. No, I had several good ideas yeah, last night year. and today. I, that's it, I got to take Super cross. I'm going nuts, you guys. I can't deal with Bear schooling me on what to do here. Yeah, he did get you. But sometimes he? it's nice to have an extra guy in the shop, you know. You he never did. know when he's going to come up with a brilliant idea. He did get you. Why are you shutting that thing off? Pause it while you get the welder. Why would you do that? Because we're at 17%. So you just put on um, camera here. How are we going to do that? Let's, um, well, we'll just do it like this, you guys, okay? Now, watch your eyes, you guys. So we're going to tack this on here. You know what? That should be enough, really. Now when I stomp on this... No. Do it the other way. What? Flip that 180. Why? Because you'll have a more solid piece instead of the slip joint smack it against. You guys, Bear is two for two. <sighs> Mark that down. <laughs> What's I'm not even thing? filming. I'm just watching so I can't even watch believe this. <laughs> it's the 2nd of March and he's right. schooling. Mike, hey, you want to just take over? I'll film. If I mean, you sure. Why not? Like, you should just call it a day, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to bed. Start here, all here. Over. You know Bear. what? Let me weld this. No, no, Bear, Bear's going to join you in this project. Okay, yeah. perfect. Bear, he, come on over here. Give me a hand. He's, he's just got he's promoted. He's the foreman because they don't do shit. The Let foreman. me do the tack. I'm going to tack this in three places now, though, because that's going to pull Tack it up, flip it, rub it down. Yes, yeah, exactly. So, and then we're going to put one. Bear, is it okay with you if I put it right there? You think that's right? Oh, I suppose. Okay. Now, there's. Now, don't go too far. I got to fill that with weld. You got to do it right there on the table. Yeah, look how it's in the shit. How far? How far? That's about. That's about right. Right yeah. there. That's perfect. Okay, so now, what you want to do next? Make sure these ears are Dub still lined make, up. Oh, you're, you're doing the wrong ears. Oh, there you go. Whatever. See? Uh oh, bear, I got a docky one. Oh, that's a little crooked, actually. What? Is it really? Man? Son of a bitch. You're right. It got a little crooked from stomping it. That was bear to death, actually. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But we can still fix that. Bear, twisted. how are we going to fix that? Or a clamper in the old vice and twister. I just twist that thing with a crowbar on the button in there. Now, which way do you got to turn it? Which way do you got to Which way do you got to Yeah, you're, the, you're right. Here, let me see that. Let me show everyone what I'm looking at. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but if you line this up and then you work, work it down right about there, Scolding. you can see that it's just a little crooked this way. We got to twist it just a little. Go ahead and give it just a little did. turn. Did. Oh, you did? No, it needs to go a little more. 
you stop, okay? Let me check that. Nope, a little more, yeah. Of course, if we go too far, you can always go back. It's not welded yet. That surely did it, yes. And you guys, we're just drop down, just make sure it's lined up, okay? We're good, we're good, we're good. okay. Thank you, Bear. You can see I left a gap here because we want to join both these pieces and our inner tube there. I'm gonna call it the inner tube. And just so you guys know, I figured a quarter inch, but yeah, I went a little over that. I'm almost at three eighths. It's a little wider than it would have to be, but that's okay. Settings seem pretty good on the water, so I'm just gonna go for it, you guys. Ow, ow, I might be on fire. Ow. Nice, nice. <laughs> Give me a little less heat there. Less heat. Yeah. Do you have a cloth to clean your lens? There's all kinds of horse shit on it. It's all f***ed up anyway from filming in the garage. Yeah, I'll have one right down my pants. It was great. You know what? Let me get those leather gloves because these are going to melt by the time I get this welded. Safety first, you guys. Now, you don't want to weld down. All right, you guys? You don't want to go down. You want to keep going up or straight across, but you don't want to weld down. Awesome. You know, you don't even have to be a great welder to do this. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, especially for off-road use and especially for a front drive shaft. Put that shit on the port. Yeah, look at that, you guys. You know, oh, I am, that big. I'm going to grind a little off of it. You know, we should have double-checked this measurement before I welded that together, but this should be 38 inches now. This is going to go right in the truck for the front drive shaft now. Simple enough. And there you have it, you guys. I want to thank Bear for helping me out with this episode. And Ogre for taking over filming. We're going to go throw this on the truck now. We're just going to stick this right in here. Take it out and compress it just a little bit. So much easier from the top. That's what you should do. <laughs> One less thing for me to worry about in this truck. Front drive shaft. Okay, Barry, you don't have to film all this. 